Uh, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. And you smell like shit. Yep. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions video. It's up, Corbin. I am Ricardo. Also, Instagram, Instagram Twitter, more juicy content. It's Things so juicy. Follow us on personal YouTube. Links in the description below. Today, we are doing a movie review. And a very person who is on Twitter will be very happy. <laughs> There's one gentleman been who's been asking ever, for, two for like years. two years yep. asking us to do a review. So, so I hope you're happy, sir. Um, but uh, this is of the namesake, the 2006, uh, I think it's, I think it was an English film mostly. What was our first Irfan film um, that we did on the channel? Not we Header, saw. I think. Was it? I think it was Header. All right. I think anyway. so. I could be wrong. Why? I was just, it just struck me. Yeah. I couldn't recall what was, like, we'd obviously seen him way before that. I saw him yeah. in Jurassic World, saw him in, yeah, in, yeah. in Black of Pie, but I couldn't figure that out. But yeah, there's been several was, people. I think it was Heather. And from the get-go, that's why I thought of that, is because from our first Irfan film, names, names, yeah. names. <laughs> this, yeah, this gentleman's been um, obsessed with us uh, of reviewing this, but it's a Mira Nar, uh, Nar, right? Nyar? Yeah, or Nair. Nair. Yeah. Uh, film, and it's, I think it was mostly in English. Yeah, because it's a so, Fox, it's a Fox Searchlight Pictures, which is a, a US based, they may have a UK studio as well, but it's, um, I think it was designed and released as an American film. Yeah, I think so. But she's done a bunch, uh, this director. She's done Monsoon, Monsoon Wedding, Wedding. Uh, Salam uh, Bombay, and a bunch of other stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe she's a really well known director, but obviously starring. The amazing Irfan and Taboo. Taboo, and then also starring Cal Penn mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, role as their son. Correct. So this uh, came out a while ago. Obviously, it'd be a hundred spins for the review. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Come back. I think it's on HBO. That's how it's your first HBO thing we've it's, ever it, seen. It's on Amazon Prime. Too. You oh, can it is rent on it. Oh, you can, can rent it there. Yeah, it's it. not for free, but I did find it over there as well as on HBO. But uh, Rick, your initial thoughts. Please. Got a paragraph. Oh, good. A beautiful film of subtle profundities and deeply personal expressions without words. As easy and effortless a film as Irfan and Taboo are as artists, and for those of us connected to India in any way. A perfectly genuine and tremendously honest depiction of the differences between East and West and how still to this day there's so much the West can learn from the East and vice versa. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that was my, that was my take so on it. So you liked it? I, a lot. Interesting. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I liked it until a point. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I liked it, it a lot. It basically was like this, and then it went... <laughs> oh, really? Uh, real bad. Uh, <laughs> really? Okay. So what, uh, what, what part went for you? Basically, right after he died, and it was more focused on Cal Penn. Okay. First of all, I've never had liked Cal Penn. I think that's how you pronounce his name, right? I believe that's correct. Obviously, yes. we've seen him a lot in America. I, I liked him in Harold and Kumar, but because I was high as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Made it a lot better. Well, why yeah. not? You should have done that. Yeah, I should have been. Yeah. Uh, but it, 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 it fell into a lot of the categories similar to um, English Vinglish with a lot of supporting people were just terrible. I, ju I did not, I, I could, it was hard oh. for me to watch. More than just him, like other people around him? Like the one, okay. <laughs> I really enjoyed the, most of the film. Three fourths of the film, okay. I really enjoyed it. Obviously, especially Taboo and Irfan. We'll get into that. Obviously. Trust me, we'll get they, into that. They are phenomenal. They are wonderful. I enjoyed every second they were on screen. It, was, it actually pissed me off when they weren't on screen. I was like, please, just just focus on Bring them. them back. That's what I wanted. Um, but yeah, I, he did his best. I was going to say. Sure. But, and the, the thing that really bothered me was the one with him and the girl he got married to. Mm -hmm. Their whole relationship, one, lasted five minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, like, so they, got, they set him up. They had sex, right. they got a relationship, got married, she's having an affair, Right. it's over. Real fast. I didn't think she was particularly good, I didn't care about the relationship very much, I didn't care about almost any of the sporting characters I thought weren't very good at all. Okay. But, up until the point you're fine dying, I really enjoyed this film. <laughs> <laughs> because this is going to sound like I really hated it, but it did take a steep, right after that, when it focused more on Cal, 
it took a steep decline because there wasn't that stability in it for me. So it was more than just, because I had a feeling you would hate the character. Yeah. But it was more than hating the character. It, it, it was hard to watch. Okay. In, in terms of his acting. I just, I've never, I think I said it in the trailer reaction. I was like, that would be my concern. Mm. And that's essentially what happened to him. Yeah. But it was actually more so the supporting people around him. Like any of his love interests, I did not believe. I did not like. Wow, really? Yeah. It was uh, quite strange. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. Because I didn't have... You didn't have that problem? No. Hmm. I, he wasn't... A, he, he, his, um, as is most things I've seen in men, he's not somebody that I necessarily gravitate toward, mm -hmm. but doesn't bother me. Example... Like, I'm not a Nick Cage fan, mm. but Nick Cage doesn't bother me. I can watch Nick doing his thing. And no, Nick gets... bothers me. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> yes, Nick Cage yeah, bothers I, I, Except I, in uh, Kick-Ass. He was really good in Kick-Ass. Um, I, I, even National Treasure? It's fine. See, yeah, yeah see? Fun. So I... But, yeah, th this wasn't as fun as the National Treasure. But the support, his... And the supporting characters for me, like, I felt like everything that was going on with Gogol was really ancillary to the larger thing that yeah, about the relationship with the father yeah everything he was doing yeah whether whatever relationship he was in he was he wasn't trying to find himself he yeah. was running away from himself that's true and and i felt like every relationship that he had that was connected to him in some way was written in order to not get him into deep in this thing he was running away from so it didn't, well, it it didn't wasn't, bother me. It at wasn't all. so much just outside of the fact that their whole relationship lasted a total of five. But minutes. you didn't like her, the actress. No, it was mostly the Interesting. acting. Interesting. After Your Fun passed, which was incredibly sad. We're going to talk, talk, talk about that. It actually made me want to read the book because I've heard this is a fan, this is based off a book, right? And apparently, it's a fantastic well-known book yeah uh, so i would actually be very interested in reading because i'm sure that relationship actually goes obviously more in depth and and all the kind of stuff so i would be very interested but yes my favorite parts in terms of the whole part that i i would say i i like this film a lot more than i dislike it because the parts i dislike were mostly at the end uh yeah see i liked it i liked it all the, the way end through part um but it was a a pretty steep decline uh but did you like how it ended um yeah it was fun it was fine. It was just fine? Yeah, it was fine. I actually said at the end, I was like, well, it kind of ruined a great film for me. Really? It was mostly the acting. But like I said, I don't want to harp on that. Okay. I, I'm done. That was my issues with it. Let's talk one about of the, what we, we enjoyed. One of the rare occasions yeah. where, where I like a film more than you, you had liked it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's, let's talk about... My uh, favorite parts. So let me tell you the, the part that... I, you tell me how this struck you. Now, I'm glad we waited mm -hmm. to watch this. Yeah. Because seeing Irfan on a slab was really, really hard to watch. Yeah, um, very hard. And to have have watched that any sooner, I don't know that I could have really seen the film for what it is. Mm -hmm. It just would have been that. It was hard enough as it is, and to watch a funeral ceremony, knowing that not just this character with her husband are so close, knowing how much Taboo and Irfan worked together and what his passing probably meant for her yeah. personally, that just freaking sucked. Yeah. Um, that was just awful. Yeah. <laughs> his character in this, though, was so good. Obviously, I, de I never expect a character of his to be bad, ever. It would be, sh it would be shocking. A shock. It would be an absolute shock. If, have he to be put, if he put in a bad performance, I would be flabbergasted. You'd have to have some of the worst writing and directing and him having had an awful, 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 yes. awful week. And same with Tebu. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same with Tebu. Same, so, same level. Of and I think, actually, if I was, because I do this all the time with the actors that I love, I will tell them which films I think they should see and in which order. Yeah. Right now, sitting in the after effect of, of the namesake, I would, I, I think this is a fitting film to watch of his as like the last. Mm -hmm. Now, we haven't seen all of his films. Yeah. But if you really want to weigh the impact, because as a, as a metaphor or right. an analogy, really, his impact on this family is Irfan's impact on the acting world mm -hmm. in India. And his passing being such a shock mm -hmm. and such a loss mm -hmm. and his imprint on acting. Um, and again, an effortless, yeah. easy... One of my trial. favorite performances of his, actually. Me too. I, it was so Me beautiful. Too. Like I loved the character that Me was too. that was written for Me him. Me too. The, the father type that he was, even though he obviously was an arranged marriage, he was such a sweet man. And the one time he, he was 
you know, ang annoyed with his wife because she did something. He was like, oh, that's my bad. I, yeah, that's my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so he was such a sweet, wonderful husband. Uh, Complete opposite of who he was in the uh, Priyanka film, remember? Yeah. That, that was awful. I was like the anti antithesis of this guy. Um, <laughs> and then, okay. I already love Taboo. Yeah. And she's already my favorite Indian actress. Mm -hmm. But like... <sighs> she was great. Not a false moment. No, she's never. She's beautiful. Her character, I was so sad for her so often. And there were so many little things, like just her being in the laundromat and the weird guy taking his shirt off. For us, that would be That's New, New York. York. That's New York. <laughs> but for her, yeah. the culture shock mm -hmm. and what we've learned about, you know, I could feel that, you know, what family means and what it meant to leave family mm -hmm. and trying to create a family. I just, Similar to uh, how I felt about Tredevi in, in English of English, when, when she was taken out of yes. her culture and then brought into America. Yeah, but this one, I wrote another thing on here, the subtleties of this, like the subtlety of the massive cultural adjustments, everything from the man in the laundromat, mm -hmm. um, to the way, this gets me emotional saying it, <laughs> to the way the nurse couldn't fold her sari. Yeah. And really didn't seem to give a crap. Yeah. She was just like, wow, this thing's complicated, huh? <laughs> and she's like, that's really important to me. And that's pretty much the way we Indians are treated over here. Like yeah. the things that are the most precious to us, you're just like, <laughs> can't fold it. Yeah. Right? I, I did really, and I wonder how, I, I would love And that to baby talk. was not a newborn. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, when it, right when it came on screen, you know, my wife was oh, like, oh yeah, no. My wife was that like, kid's like a uh, year old. That's bigger than Leland. <laughs> exactly. But well, what were you just gonna say? Um, when, what was I gonna say? I doing? had mentioned the folding of the sari and making. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Folding of the sari. I was gonna say something, and then I forgot. So say something. I might remember it. Again. Okay. I'll reread what I read. That he, the nurse couldn't fold the sari, and the way that she folded it was like, yeah, anything that's going on with you guys here in America that's really important to you, we kind of just throw off to the side. And I. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I, I'm wondering how it would be. If this, how accurate this is to a American Indian born here to Indian parents. So I guess it, that wouldn't technically be a non-resident Indian, right? But I guess it could apply to non-resident Indian. It could apply. But how, like, the, how the kids felt about going back to India, yeah, and like I'd being like in American know. culture, like how how accurate is that to to their life now? Do because it seemed obviously because. I don't think that would be most Americans, but obviously they grew up going back and forth and they like America better. But like going to another culture and, and you know, experiencing all that, they would just seem to be annoyed by being there. Uh, yeah. I, and so I wonder how accurate that is uh, for a lot of people. I think it really would depend. I think yeah. it would depend on your family. Um, you know what I loved? I love the sweetness where we're both Tabu and Irfan's characters definitely cherished their lineage, mm -hmm. both as Indians and as Bengalis. Yeah. And they wanted their son to do that. Like, they refused to call him Nikki. They always called him Gogol. Yeah, I actually I had no idea about this whole name. Yeah, me... Well, you knew about the two, the Bengali thing. No. I we hadn't talked about that? I don't... We might have, and I might have forgotten. I thought we did with Kahani. Because in the, when she's in the taxi, she, she's explaining to him. No, maybe we did. But he's explaining to her that Bengalis have a birth name. Yeah. But then they have a nickname. It's just Bengalis? It's very... There may be other regions that do it, but like mm. every Bengali. Like Indrani, she, people around her, in where she grew up and all of her friends and family call her Tunia. Oh. Tunia. She's Tunia. That's mm. her nickname. Gotcha. But her birth name is Indrani. Gotcha. And all of them have this second name. I remember that in Kahani, the taxi driver, explaining his name badge was one thing, but he was called something else. Uh, so okay. that, the Gogol, but see, the thing for him was that it, besides the, the, the two name thing, what I loved was they, they were, they had, I felt, a really good balance of demanding to be connected to their heritage and their people and their culture and wanting their son to be that, but also letting him go do what he's gonna do. The moments where he forgot his mom, mm -hmm. 
That was, uh, I was so mad at him. Mm -hmm. He was a dick. He was a dick. And she was- Similar to a poo. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Another what Bengali. What is it with Bengali? Hey, but I'm <laughs> uh, But Taboo has, she doesn't disappoint. She's never been more beautiful. Yeah, we will watch everything uh, she's done. I love that woman's acting. Mm -hmm. I love her screen presence. I love the ease. Watching, I cannot think of another screen couple Aside, and I'm talking about the classics like Humphrey Bogart and Katherine Hepburn or Robert Redford and Barbara Streisand and these, these names where you put two actors together throughout history. There's no one, mm -hmm. no one who surpasses the chemistry, the ease, and the beauty of watching acting genius like Irfan and Tebu. Absolutely. It is, it is sheer perfection. 100%. <laughs> yeah, it was my absolute favorite part of this film yeah. was any time they were on screen because they're just so wonderful. And I have a friend who just watched a, um, uh, his first uh, Hindi film. And it was an earphone one. Uh, and so I'll probably, he'll probably really enjoy this one, even though I, I, I had issues with it, but I think this is, he, he really enjoys like romantic comedies and, and stuff like that. He even was able to sit through Twilight with his wife at one point. Wow. And so obviously he doesn't have as big of issues as I have yeah. with, with certain things. Wow. <laughs> but um, oh, this is something, especially for earphones and Taboo's performance. Uh, one, like I said, one of my- And the story. Yeah, and the, the story. story. Like I would very much be interested if you guys say it's a really good book, which I think it is. The namesake book I hear is really good. I would actually be really interested in reading that. Uh, because I, I really did enjoy the story. There were there were parts that I just wish they would have done better. Similar to the English of English, most of it was acting wise. So uh, what do you think? What do you think ultimately he does at the end? I think it's pretty self evident, but I love that they didn't spoon feed us the ending. Do you think he did come full circle and that he did reach the place that his dad said one day you'll understand? Do you think when he's reading the words at the end that he finally embraced his name? Or do you think he still was going by Nikki with his American friends and keeping his Indian and American selves no, separate? I think he, he definitely had a change when his dad Yeah, I, I think he reaches the place his dad said he would reach and he, I thought it was he amalgamates it and, and, and actually becomes even more proud of his Indian and Bengali identity than he does his American identity. I thought it was actually a really sweet moment when he did shave his head. Um, cause I, and I like that I got that. Um, I was like, okay, so the, the eldest always shaves their head and then, or I think eldest male, yeah, I think, or I don't know if it's all the males or if it's just the eldest male, shaves their head and then they don't have a shirt on when mm -hmm. they, the, the ceremony is going on and a whole bunch of other stuff. But I thought it was a really sweet moment, especially when Taboo yeah. saw him for the first time. Yeah, and I think that was a cathartic and definitive turning point for him where it was not just the mourning aspect, which I think it's a beautiful, I think it's a beautiful way to mourn somebody because, and it's, it's, it's very common in many cultures to do that and to put on sackcloth and ashes on your head. Mm -hmm. But the shaving of the head is a definitive point of that which was in the past is gone and I can never reclaim it. It's the permanence of it. And then that this is going to take me time before I'm back to normal and, and everybody being accepting and recognizing we don't, I don't know how long it's going to take for me to be back to normal. And when I am back to normal, I'll never be the same because it's not the same hair. And I, I felt it was also not just that aspect of it, but it was also him reaching that point of the regret he had and saying, you know what, the, the old, the Nikki who was so obsessed with being an American that I was not paying attention to my Bengali and my Indianness that I'm dying to that too. Mm -hmm. That when my dad, uh, that unfortunately, it took the death of my father for me to finally see who my father named me to be. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you have it. I hope uh, uh, those of you who have been calling for this film are, are happy. Uh, let us know what's the next um, Irfan Aang Taboo film. I want to see everything they've ever done. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when we love an actor, we will explore everything they've ever done in their life. We've seen more of Irfans than we have of Taboo. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do need to get into her way more, more. Way more of hers. Um, so let us know which of those we should watch next. And the next film we should watch. For, it's not a specific region, so this is an English yeah. film. So just what's the next film we should watch next down below.